Hi everybody, today's video is going to be all about my new buddies, which is really exciting. So, although most of you probably already know that I have buddies from my second channel, if you've been subscribed to my second channel then you'll most likely know that I have got buddies and I thought it would be a good idea to do a sort of Q&A video so that you can get to know them a bit better. I've just gone on to Instagram and realised that I've had 92 comments so that could take me a while to answer them all. I'll just have a look through and I'm guessing some of them might be repeated anyway so I'll just pick out a few of your questions. The very first question is what are their names? So their names are Piper and Bigwig. So Bigwig is here and he is the black one then Piper is the girl so Piper is the white bunny and she is currently sniffing the tripod so um, you will see her soon. So the next question is if they could speak what would what would you hope they would say about their first day or two with you? That is a really good question. I would say that well what I hope they would say would be like that oh we're having a great time here it's so exciting it's really good Was it your idea to get bunnies? It actually wasn't my idea. My dad said randomly one day um, about getting bunnies. He just randomly suggested it. Now, it sort of stemmed from the fact that I want a career with animals. I want to focus on educating people. And I think that having bunnies is going to open up a lot more opportunities and it's going to be a whole new thing for my channel and I think that is where he got the idea from and the fact that it could help with my career because when I leave school I'm wanting to focus more on educating people on animals. Next question is will the bunnies only be on your second channel? No they won't. The reason why all my bunny videos have been on my second channel is because They've all been vlogs, so it's all been about preparing for them and going and visiting different places. So I thought it would be more appropriate to put it on my second channel because that's where I do my, all my vlogs and everything. But I'll be doing all my bunny care videos on my main channel. The next question is, have they used the cat flap yet? Yes they have, they went out this morning, yesterday they were really shy and well they were quite confident for new bunnies but I don't think they were very adventurous because they were quite shy and scared so they were pretty much just in here yesterday weren't you? Um, but they came out into the cat flap this morning. I actually put the webcam in here and I was watching them on the webcam and then I saw that one of their faces popped to put the cat flap and I was like oh they've gone outside so then I came running out and saw them outside. Will you introduce the rabbits to the guinea pigs? I will not introduce them together for several reasons. Now I know some people say that it's really bad to put guinea pigs and rabbits together, other people say it's fine, they've never had any problems. Personally I want to risk it, I don't know what the complications really are, I haven't really looked into it because I, well at one point I mean I researched into it but then I've, um, no I just wouldn't want them to be together because I know they're different animals so they don't really know how to communicate and I think that they're just better kept separate really. What's their favourite veg? So I've only really had them for a day and I have already realised that they're not really a big fan of fruits and vegetables. I don't think they were given such a big variety of different vegetables and fruits like in comparison to what I feed my guinea pigs. I don't think they've had um, been fed that much different variety. I know they've been fed things like spring greens and banana and stuff like that but that's all they've really had so I'm slowly introducing them to new fruits and vegetables and they seem a bit unsure. They're not too keen on that and they're much more fond of the hay and the pellets so I think that I'm going to have to sort of make a bit of a transition and introduce more and more vegetables so, so that they're getting more of the nutrients that they need in their diet. The next question is how old are they? Now I don't know this for sure, they were both found as strays and I will go into that a bit later because I'm sure there'll be a question about that but they are predicted to be between one and two years old. Will they stay outside in the winter or will you bring them inside? We had the idea to just keep them outside all year round which is why we went for this playhouse and then the outdoor area because I know rabbits are quite hardy animals so this would be perfectly suitable in winter. I guess I can just give them more cosy areas and make it a bit more snug for them in the winter months. Which one of them is the shyest? 
I would say that Bigwig is the shyest. He is a little bit timid, whereas Piper, she is very confident and adventurous. I think that he will definitely come out of his shell a bit more when we've had him for a bit longer. How long did it take each of them to settle in? Not long at all, really. Honestly, from like the moment they went in here, they were like quite curious. And I guess that's in their nature to be quite curious and adventurous, but they seem to sell them pretty much straight away. I did leave them for a few hours. The next question is which bedding do you use? So I've only got bedding in the litter trays at the minute. I've got two litter trays and the bedding I'm using is Megazorb. The reason why we got Megazorb is because at their previous home they were bedded on Megazorb so I thought they would know that's where they will wee and poo because their whole shed was set up with Megazorb in so they're kind of having to get used to having to use the litter trays. They've been really good though, they haven't really had any accidents. Obviously there's poop in like out of the litter tray but that's completely normal that doesn't bother me it's just like they're urinating and doing quite a lot of poo in there as well so it seems to be working really well does that why did you decide to get a bunny and not another guinea pig well the reason i went for bunnies is because well i think that with guinea pigs well i guess any animal when you introduce another it really does unsettle the groupings and i although i probably have I could probably take on another guinea pig for the space I have. I used to have 10 guinea pigs in that setup, but they are very settled now and honestly introducing another one, it's like World War 3 or something, <laughs> like honestly, they just, it takes a long time when you have that many guinea pigs for them to accept each other and it's not as easy as just putting another one in and yeah so I wanted bunnies really because I just wanted to gain more experience with different animals obviously I do ha already have a lot of guinea pigs so I thought this would mean that I could have a lot more experience with looking after bunnies what kind of hay do you get for them and where do you get it so the hay that I've got is it's just regular meadow hay really it's what we get from a local horse supplier and it comes in large bales it's really great value for money and I think that the quality is quite good too so that is what we got and it's um I think it costs about seven pound for a bale I'm not too sure are they rescued yes they are rescued we got them from a rescue called Camp Nibble and basically they had been fostered at someone else's house and they were temporarily looking after them although they had been with her for such a long time I would say maybe just under a year I think so they have been with her for a long time so um yeah but they were under the Camp Nibble rescue so they were just being fostered by someone else and um so I didn't actually have to go to the rescue and um the person who was looking after the bunnies, she brought them to us yesterday rather than us going to her, so she took them and um, so we didn't really have to visit any rescues or anything. What was your first impression of them? You could just tell that they were really interested in these new surroundings, which was really lovely to see. I thought they would just immediately go for one of the hidey houses and just stay in there for a long time, but no, they've been really confident and that really surprised me. Out of all the different breeds of bunnies, which made you pick these ones? Well, it wasn't so much the breed that I went for. I wasn't really looking for the breed. I mean, obviously being really cute is a bonus for these two because they are gorgeous. So when I saw all the bunnies available for adoption on Camp Nibble, I realised that these two were on the harder to adopt section. This is because they are not the sort of cuddly picking up bunnies that... A lot of kids would ideally want. Some people only want bunnies for cuddling or other animals for that matter. You know, it's there's more to it than that and I thought that they'd be perfect for me. I think I'm gonna shut that door because Piper looks like he's going to escape. How do you get time to clean out all of your pets' cages with school? So obviously it is Oh, he's having a munch on some veggies, that's so cute. So it is very time consuming looking after all these animals. It's a big responsibility and a big commitment. Although it does take a lot of time, I love what I do. I'm very passionate about animals. So although a lot of people think that having so many animals is like having lots of chores to do, I don't see it as that. I just see it as something that I'm passionate about and that kind of inspires me to do it. And um. Yes, I do have school, but I <laughs> probably don't put as much effort into school as I probably should. I 
care so much more about animals and to be honest school is sort of just like everything gets left to the last minute and I don't really do that much for school I'm quite lazy when it comes to school work and stuff so um yeah I guess that's a compromise really I mean I care so much more for my animals I think that animals are so much more important than school how did you come up with your rabbits names I didn't come up with the names actually they were named by I don't know if they were named by the fosterer or if they were named by the rescue but basically I didn't name them and um, I think that the names came from well Piper I think her name came from the fact that she had um, she had been living in some pipes for a long time in a field because she was found as a stray so there were some pipes in this field somewhere and she'd been hiding in there for months I have no idea how she managed to survive to be honest without getting eaten by something or like how she found the food for that long I don't know but I think that's pretty amazing so she'd been living in pipes and I think that's where the name came from then with Bigwig I'm not too sure where his name came from I'm guessing because of um, he's a lion head breed and um, yeah, I think they're both really sweet names and I didn't want to change them so that's why I decided to keep them. Are they sisters? So no, they're not sisters, they are, they were both found the strays and they are not related at all. So they are a male and female pair and they have both been neutered or castrated. So they are, um, yeah, they're not related. What's your favourite aspect of having bunnies? So obviously I haven't had them for very long but I would say that I I really like the fact that they're so different to guinea pigs. Hello you. I'd say that they're very different to guinea pigs in that they are more curious. They're completely different the way they behave and I've noticed this in just the day so I really like how they're different to all the other pets that I have. Do rabbits need more room than guinea pigs? I guess it depends how many guinea pigs you have. If I had two guinea pigs and two rabbits I would say two rabbits need more room than two guinea pigs. But I have nine guinea pigs and two rabbits so I would say the total floor space of the guinea pigs enclosure is slightly bigger than what the bunnies have but then we can um, we can always give the guinea the bunnies playtime. We can sort of attach a run from this so they have more room on the grass. Whereas for the guinea pigs, they, we can't really do that. I would say bunnies do need more room. They need to stretch and hop and jump. So they do need more space from that aspect. But um, yeah, I guess it depends how many you have really. Where did you get the teepee from? The teepee is from a shop called Home Bargains. You will know if you're from the UK. So it was really cheap and the bunnies love it. I thought it would just be like a cute decoration for them really, but they actually really like it and they've been like hopping in and out of it. So they do like the teepee. Why is Piper's eye big? She does have really big eyes. I think that they're so gorgeous though. Um, one of the eyes, she's got like fur around it. So um, well, obviously she has fur around it, but it's different colors to the rest of her. So that kind of makes her eye look a bit bigger than it actually is. But she does have really big eyes and I think she's so pretty. How do you cope with loads of pets? Do you get time to yourself? So this is kind of similar to another question, but I would say that it is like a lot to do. It's a big responsibility every single day. But I absolutely love it and time to myself, well, you know, I, I'm really happy when I'm with my pets and I guess that's a compromise having lots of pets and although I don't really have that much like time to myself, like doing my YouTube and everything and having time with my pets is what I enjoy to do the most really so I guess I do have time for myself, it's just sort of different to what other people would class as having like you know, me time. Do you have any plans for them such as clicker training or agility and rabbit jumping? I would love to do things like that. It sounds like really cool. I've seen at the pet shows when you've got your rabbit jumping and everything. I think that's really cool. Um, I guess so. In the future I may try things like that. I guess it depends if I have room outside of the playhouse to do it because I wouldn't do it in here. Which part of the shed do they sleep in? So I didn't have the webcam in here overnight, which I kind of wish I did because it would be cool to see where they do sleep. But they seem to be sleeping a lot in here during the day. Overnight they may go over to the bench area because that looks quite cosy. I'm not too sure actually. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about my bunnies. And hopefully you will look forward to future videos with these guys. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!